Today, we embark on a journey through time, where pivotal moments teetered on the edge of cataclysm, each with the potential to redraw the very fabric of existence. From the chilling Cold War confrontations and the Toba supervolcano's ancient fury to the climatic anomalies of the Little Ice Age and the nuclear shadows of the 20th century, history is riddled with events that nearly altered the course of life on Earth. These episodes, both natural and man-made, serve as stark reminders of our world's fragility in the relentless march of time. Number 10. As the 20th century drew to a close, the world braced for what was anticipated to be one of the most significant digital crises in history, the Y2K bug. This technological time bomb threatened to send global systems into chaos, sparking a mixture of fear, skepticism, and an unprecedented global response. The Y2K bug, also identified as the Millennium Bug, stemmed from an old programming convention of using two digits to represent the year, assuming the prefix, 19, as a constant. As the year 2000 approached, there was a growing concern that computer systems would interpret the two-digit year, 00, as 1900 instead of 2000, potentially leading to widespread dysfunction in everything from banking systems to power grids. The investigation into Y2K spans several years, involving extensive testing, analysis, and reprogramming efforts worldwide. Governments, corporations, and independent agencies poured billions into preparing and upgrading systems to withstand the anticipated glitch. The theoretical disaster scenarios ranged from minor inconveniences to catastrophic system failures that could cripple infrastructure and cause a ripple effect throughout global economies and services. When the watch struck midnight on January 1, 2000, the world held its breath, and then exhaled in relief. Thanks to extensive preparation and remediation efforts, the anticipated chaos did not materialize. The Y2K bug, while exposing the vulnerabilities of our increasing dependence on technology, also demonstrated the effectiveness of global cooperation in mitigating potential digital threats. Number 9. In 1859, the Earth experienced the most powerful geomagnetic storm on record, known as the Carrington Event. This astronomical phenomenon illuminated the skies while simultaneously wreaking havoc on the nascent telegraphic network, offering a stark warning of the sun's potential to disrupt our technologically dependent society. The Carrington Event, named after British astronomer Richard Carrington, occurred over several days in September 1859. Carrington observed intense sunspots and solar flares, which sent a massive cloud of charged particles hurtling toward Earth. The particles collided with the planet's magnetic field, causing widespread electromagnetic disturbances. At the time, the scientific community was just beginning to understand the dynamics between the Earth and the Sun. The Carrington event spurred further investigation into solar-terrestrial interactions, leading to the development of the field of space weather. Researchers studied the event's impact on the then world's most advanced technology, the telegraph system, finding that it caused fires in telegraph stations and allowed operators to send messages even without power, demonstrating the profound effects solar activity could have on electrical systems. The Carrington event of 1859 stands as a pivotal moment in history, highlighting our planet's vulnerability to solar phenomena. It underscored the necessity for ongoing research and preparedness in facing space weather events, especially as our reliance on electronic infrastructure deepens. Number 8. In the mid-6th century, the Byzantine Empire faced a calamity of apocalyptic proportions, the Plague of Justinian. This devastating outbreak not only decimated populations but also reshaped the course of history, leaving an indelible mark on the ancient world. Named after the ruling emperor Justinian I, the plague of Justinian erupted in 541 AD, with its epicenter in the bustling city of Constantinople. The plague, believed to be caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis, the same pathogen responsible for the Black Death centuries later, spread relentlessly through trade routes, decimating populations across the Mediterranean basin and beyond. Historians and scientists have pieced together the narrative of the plague through contemporary accounts and modern research, including genetic analysis of ancient DNA. 
These investigations reveal the pandemic's staggering mortality rate and its impact on the Byzantine Empire's economy, military, and societal structures. Theories suggest that the plague contributed to the decline of the Roman Empire, altering the balance of power in Europe and the Near East. The plague of Justinian is more than a historical footnote, it's a testament to the fragility of human societies in the face of pandemic diseases. Its legacy prompts a deeper understanding of how infectious diseases can shape the destiny of civilizations, offering valuable lessons for managing global health threats in today's interconnected world. Number 7. During the tense years of the Cold War in the 1980s, the world came perilously close to nuclear annihilation, not through deliberate acts of war, but through false alarms. These incidents of near-miss nuclear confrontations underscore the razor-thin margin between peace and catastrophic conflict. The 1980s were marked by escalating tensions between nuclear superpowers, with both sides on high alert for any signs of an imminent attack. This period saw several false alarms, mainly due to technical glitches or human error, which mistakenly signaled the launch of nuclear missiles. These moments of panic brought the world to the brink of a nuclear war. Investigations into these incidents revealed a combination of factors, including malfunctioning early warning systems, satellite misinterpretations, and computer errors, all contributing to the misreading of threats. The most notable of these was the 1983 Soviet satellite misinterpretation, where sunlight reflecting off clouds was mistaken for a missile launch. This led to a situation in which the decision not to retaliate was based more on gut feeling than hard evidence. The nuclear false alarms of the 1980s serve as a harrowing reminder of the fragility of global peace and the potential for technology to save and endanger humanity. They highlight the importance of reliable, fail-safe communication and warning systems in preventing accidental conflict and emphasize the need for continuous vigilance and improvement in the mechanisms that guard against the ultimate catastrophe, nuclear war. Number 6. The Little Ice Age, which lasted from the 14th to the 19th century, was a period of significant cooling that affected large parts of the world. This climatic event reshaped societies, economies, and environments, leaving a lasting impact on the course of history. The Little Ice Age saw a marked decrease in global temperatures, leading to harsher winters and cooler summers. It wasn't a continuous period of cold, instead, it featured several intensely cold intervals interspersed with milder phases. Its effects were profoundly felt across Europe, North America, and Asia, influencing agriculture, settlement patterns, and the survival of communities. The causes of the Little Ice Age are still under investigation, with theories including decreased solar activity, increased volcanic activity, changes in ocean circulation, and variations in Earth's orbit. Historical records, along with scientific data from tree rings, ice cores, and sediment layers, have been crucial in piecing together the climatic conditions and social responses of the time. The Little Ice Age underscores the vulnerability of human societies to climate change. Its study provides valuable insights into how abrupt environmental changes can influence food security, population dynamics, and socio-economic structures. Number 5. In the shadow of the Cold War's nuclear tension, a single decision by a Soviet officer, Stanislav Petrov, averted what could have escalated into a full-scale nuclear war. This 1983 incident, often dubbed, the day the world almost ended, poignantly reminds us of the fragile line between peace and global catastrophe. On September 26, 1983, during a time of heightened tension between the Soviet Union and the United States, the Soviet early warning systems erroneously detected incoming American missiles. The man on duty, Lt. Col. Stanislav Petrov, faced the ultimate dilemma, to report the alarms as an actual attack and potentially trigger a retaliatory nuclear response or to judge them as a false alarm and risk the chance of a real strike going unchallenged. Petrov, relying on gut instinct and reasoning that a real American strike would involve hundreds of missiles, not the five detected, deemed it a false alarm. His decision was later vindicated, the warning had been generated by a rare alignment of sunlight on high-altitude clouds and the satellite's orbits. 
This incident prompted a re-evaluation of the nuclear early warning protocols and the dangers of automated retaliation strategies. The Stanislav Petrov incident highlights the terrifying responsibility placed on individuals in the nuclear command chain and the precarious nature of automated war systems. Petrov's story is a powerful testament to the importance of human judgment in the era of complex military technology, reminding us of the ever-present need for caution, scrutiny, and the human element in maintaining global peace in the nuclear age. Number 4. On March 11, 2011, a catastrophic event was revealed at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant in Japan, leading to the worst nuclear disaster since Chernobyl. Generated by a massive earthquake and tsunami, this incident exposed the vulnerabilities of nuclear power plants to natural disasters, igniting worldwide debates on nuclear safety. The disaster began when a 9.0 magnitude earthquake, the greatest ever recorded in Japan, struck off the coast, generating a tsunami that overwhelmed the plant's defenses. The power supply and cooling systems were destroyed, leading to meltdowns in three of the plant's six reactors and the release of radioactive materials into the environment. Investigations into the Fukushima disaster focused on the adequacy of the plant's safety measures and the response to the crisis. It was found that the plant's design had underestimated the potential threat of tsunamis, and the crisis was exacerbated by the lack of immediate action and transparent communication. Studies have since examined the health and environmental impact, leading to ongoing efforts to contain and mitigate the effects of the released radiation. The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster serves as a whole reminder of the potential risks associated with nuclear energy, particularly in areas prone to natural disasters. It has prompted a re-evaluation of nuclear safety standards worldwide and increased demand for alternative, renewable energy sources. Number 3. In the 1970s, a scientific debate emerged that seemed counterintuitive to our current understanding of climate change, the fear of global cooling. This notion, based on a period of cooling temperatures, spurred concerns that Earth might be on the brink of a new ice age, capturing the public's imagination and fueling speculative science. During the late 1960s and early 1970s, some climatologists observed a slight decrease in global temperatures and began to theorize about the potential for a rapid and severe cooling of the Earth's climate. This period was marked by unusually harsh winters and a noticeable expansion of polar ice, leading to media speculation and scientific inquiry into the possibilities of a global climatic shift towards cooling. Research at the time focused on understanding climate patterns, including the impact of aerosols and greenhouse gases on global temperatures. Some studies suggested that increased particulate matter from pollution could be blocking sunlight, leading to a cooling effect. However, the global cooling narrative was based on limited data and did not represent a consensus within the scientific community. As more comprehensive climate data became available, the understanding of global climate dynamics improved, leading to the recognition that the longer-term trend was one of warming, not cooling. The global cooling fears of the 1970s highlight the importance of robust and comprehensive scientific research in understanding climate trends. While the immediate concern of a new ice age faded, the episode served as a precursor to the more substantial understanding of global warming and climate change. Number 2. The eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815 unleashed one of the most powerful and destructive volcanic events in recorded history, leading to the year without a summer. This monumental event had far-reaching effects on climate, agriculture, and societies around the globe. Mount Tambora, located on the Indonesian island of Sumbawa, erupted with cataclysmic force in April 1815. The explosion was heard up to 2,600 kilometers away, and it spewed vast amounts of volcanic ash and sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere. This significantly reduced sunlight and caused global temperature anomalies. The aftermath of the eruption was a subject of intense study. Scientists investigated the climatic impacts, finding that the injection of aerosols into the atmosphere led to a dramatic cooling of the Earth's surface. This resulted in widespread crop failures, food shortages, and extreme weather events across various continents. 
Historical records and scientific data have been pieced together to understand the eruption's immediate and lingering effects on the global climate system and society. The Mount Tambora eruption serves as a stark reminder of the powerful forces of nature and their ability to alter the course of human history. It underscores the vulnerability of societies to environmental changes and the need for resilience and adaptability in the face of natural disasters. Number 1. Around 74,000 years ago, the Earth witnessed one of its most colossal volcanic events, the eruption of the Toba supervolcano in present-day Indonesia. This event is believed to have had a profound impact on global climate and human evolution, sparking a debate that continues to intrigue scientists and historians alike. The Toba eruption was monumental, expelling vast quantities of ash and sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, which could have led to a volcanic winter, drastically cooling the Earth. This period of post-eruption cooling is hypothesized to have had severe consequences for the environment and living beings, particularly early human populations. The Toba catastrophe theory suggests that the eruption created an extreme global climatic event that caused massive environmental changes and led to a bottleneck in human evolution, severely reducing the global human population. Research involving geological evidence, climate models, and genetic studies has been conducted to grasp the extent of the eruption's impact. However, the exact effects on global climate and human evolution are still subject to ongoing investigation and debate. The Toba supervolcano eruption remains one of the most fascinating and significant events in Earth's history. It highlights the interplay between geological events and biological evolution. However, the full implications of the eruption for climate and human history have yet to be conclusively determined. Through the lens of these monumental events, we gain not just historical insights but also a deep gratitude for the delicate balance of life on Earth. They teach us about the power of nature, the impact of human actions, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge and survival. As custodians of our planet's future, we are reminded of the need to learn from the past, understand the present, and wisely shape the tomorrow we are stepping into, armed with the lessons of yesteryear's narrow escapes and monumental challenges. Please like, share, and subscribe to the Phantasmal Eternity channel. Until next time.